lesson eight. In this particular lesson, we're going to be taking a look at how do we create a list. Now, I want you to realize that once we start to go down the pathway of creating a list and using list, there are so, so many things that we can do with the list that'll make our lives and our, our easier, our programs more robust, things so much more exciting. So I want you to realize that this is just like the gate. We're just barely opening the door to all the things that we can do when it comes to lists, both in Python and in Scratch. And so this particular specific lesson is only on how do we create the list. There will be future lessons where we go into much greater detail on what else can we do with the list. But for now, we just have to know how to make one. So that's all that this is going to focus on. So if you've had experience, you're like, yeah, but you can do this, and you can do that, and you can do this. My answer is yes, you can. But first, we just got to know how to actually make them and actually what they are. And so when we think of, of list here, especially when we're looking at it in the, in the terms of, of Scratch and Python, um, they both serve the exact same purpose. Um, we've been spending a lot of time so far on using variables, right? But variables are good if we want to remember one thing but what if we want to remember lots of things and what if they are the same thing like a whole list of numbers or what if they're strings and numbers the beauty of the list is we can contain whatever we want in there think of it like a shelf and each shelf has one item or one object and we can make that shelf as big as we want. That's what a list is going to allow us to do. To store a ton of data at the same time and then we can use it however we need to use the list to make our program come to life or for the problem that we're trying to solve. And so let's take a look at a couple things here and then get into just one basic example of how to do this. When we create a list in Scratch, it is the exact same place, structure, everything as making a variable, except for as opposed to click make a variable, we're going to create make a list. Um, the uh, one thing that's important to note when we're making a list in Scratch the index, meaning like the first item that you have in your list, starts with the number one. So eventually we're going to be able to retrieve specific items from a list, like item number four or item number five. Uh, we could replace items. And so it's important to know that when we create a list in Scratch, the first item is labeled or considered an index as, as one. Um, so just something to be cognizant of when we think about the storage index and we can use numbers and strings within our list. Um, when we create a list, <laughs> I, I see a little type, actually I'm going to fix this here while I'm talking to you, create a list and list, okay we don't need to do that, even though we can actually create a list within a list and, and many lists in there. Um, how do we create a list in Python? Just like we've talked about, a list is an object that contains other objects, so when we go to create a list, that's an object in Python. And then within that object, we have all our items within the list. Now, Python is different than Scratch in the sense of the storage index. So in Python, our first item is numbered 0. So things start with 0, and then 1, then 2. Um, and we use brackets to create lists in Python as opposed to a block. So let's take a look at actually creating a list and just making this stuff work through just so you have a sense of, of, of how to make a list come to life for you. So um, I'm, um, you know what, let's start with Python first because I just think it'll, it'll be good and it's good to mix it up so you can kind of think you orientate your thinking from scratch to python and also from python to to scratch and so in this particular one i'm going to save this what we're going to be doing for just creating a list um i'm going to call this uh let's see this is lesson eight um deck of i'm going to show you how to just create a random deck of cards. So the, the goal here with this particular lesson, how we're going to create a list, is just a program that's going to print or choose a random card from a deck of cards. So this is going to require two lists for us to create. Now, 
first thing that we need to do that has nothing to do with list, but we used this before, is we need to import a library, and we're going to import random again. And we're actually going to talk about this in a, in a future lesson. So if you're still like, oh my gosh, she's using this import again, I don't know what it means. Just be patient. It's coming. Um, at this point, you don't need to understand it all. Just know that there's just lots of code that's already been created for us to use, so we don't have to keep reinventing the wheel. All right, so what we want to do here now is we want to create a um, name of our list, okay? So I'm going to call this particular one value, all right? And we have our equal. You notice it's just like how we are creating our variables, right? But this time's different. We're going to use a bracket, okay? And anything that we put within these brackets is going to be our list. So for me... I'm just going to list all of the suits in a deck of cards, okay? So if I go through here and um, just add all this in, all right, I'm going to go ace, okay, I'm going to have king, and then I've got queen, I've got Jack, all right, and then I've, all right, so once we have these, we've got our ace, king, queen, jack, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm going to close this list out with a bracket. So I talked about earlier that the, the storage index is with zero. So if I later, when we do some videos, wanted to retrieve just the ace, this is considered index zero or index item zero. This is zero, one, two, three, four. Um, and you'll see in Scratch that it does it a little bit different. Okay. We also then need one more list. So we're actually going to be using two lists in this, which I think is good for you to see um, how we can use a lot of this. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to then make this suit. All right. And then we got to we got to know what our suits are. So um, this one is not anywhere near as long. We have heart. That in there, there we go. We have diamond. What else do we have? We have club and we have spade. All right, so we've got our two list here. Once again, this is zero, one, two, three in terms of the storage index. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to have write a, a simple code. We'll come back to this later, but this this is going to actually just create a choose a random selection from each of the lists. So I'm just going to call this um, random, and we're going to call this random value. All right, and this is just going to be a, a simple code that comes in the random library that we imported earlier. Um, we're going to go random um, choice, all right, and then we're, where do we want this to come from? We want to pick a random choice from our value list, so I'm just going to put in here value, okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for our suit, so I'm going to call this random suit, and this is going to be equal to random choice, and we're going to call that suit as well. And then I'm just going to do random card, a, a new variable, all right, that's actually then just going to be exactly what these two random ones are. So a random value, comma, random suit. And then what we want to do is we want to print that. We're going to print random card. All right, so what we've done here is this this line here is going to pick randomly one of these options in this list between 0 and 12, and it's going to pick one of these suits here randomly from 0 to 3, and it's going to print, it's going to combine those, it's going to print. So when we go to run this module, all right, it should, fingers crossed, all right, we got the nine of hearts. 
just like that, as you can see here. So it randomly picked a, a card from this thing. Very simple. There are other ways to do this, I know. But at least in the sense, you can see here that we've created a list of a bunch of items, and we got two different lists, and we can actually then use these as needed. So this is just a very simple way to create a list within Python. Now let's take this and convert it over to Scratch so you can see um, the similarities between the two programs and a couple little differences. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to change the sprite. This is just, a, I'm going to call this here, this is lesson eight. All right, so we're just going to go and we're just, let's just, let's just surprise a new sprite here, something different. Okay, I guess a check mark is going to work, huh? Okay, so here we go with this particular one and we're just going to be following the same kind of structure we use with python okay so we talked about earlier how creating a list is very similar to creating a variable we have to make the variable we're going to do the same thing here of make a list all right and then when we're in python we call the, this one here value so we're going to do the same thing we're going to call it value all right now you can see that this is showing up and we get all these incredible blocks for make a list. That's why I said there's so many things that we can do, um, which, which we'll mess with those later. And so you can see right now our list is empty. And so if I hit this little plus right here, it's going to give me a value. All right. And I can add whatever I want into this. So I'm just going to do this because we have 13 values, right? So we have the ace, we have the king, we have queen, we have Jack, and then we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, there are our values for our list. All right, we also know that we need another list of a suit, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to call this suit. All right, and then we had heart, diamond, club, and spade, so we're going to do four of these. So I'm going to heart, diamond, club, spade. All right, so now I've got my two list here um, of what I want to use. But now let's, how do we create a, a random card to be uh, selected? So, okay, so here we go. Let's look at this. This is going to be a just a basic, simple code. There are much better ways of doing this in Scratch, but just so you can see the similarities of this code and what it looks like in Scratch. All right, we're just going to move, as opposed to the green click, we're just going to do when the space bar is pressed, just so we can see it randomly a bunch of times. And so what we're going to do here is we are going to go to looks, all right, and we're going to have our, our beautiful green check mark. Boy, that's a randomly perfect event for this. Not. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to go here to our variables, all right, and we are going to drop down here to our list, okay, and we're going to add this operator of join. We're going to join our two lists together. So I'm going to stick that in there. And then we're going to go to our, our list options and we're going to say, let's see, item one of our suit. But we want to make this a value. And then we need to make this random. So we're going to then, for this item, one through 13. So notice here that our index value is one. Remember in Python, I told you it was it started with zero. Um, so this is zero through 12. Here in Scratch, it's one through 13. All right, so it's going to say, pick one of these items, the value, one through 13. So it's going to say the ace, the king, the seven, whatever it might be. And we're going to do the same exact setup for our suit. So we're going to then go here again to um, join. All right, we're going to then pick our item again. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. We don't need another join. Sorry, complete brain fart there. We're going to replace banana with item. Okay, because we've already joined. We're going to join this item of value, this item from the suit. Um, and so we're going to go here. We're going to pick a random. All right, this time we've got four values. Okay, so we're going to pick one through four. And we just want to make sure this is labeled the suit. So it should give us then, every time we hit the space bar, let's see what happens here. The ten of clubs, the three of clubs, the seven of hearts. It's just randomly choosing one item from each of these lists. So there you can see 
that this code here is similar to this one right here. And so once again, how to create a list, how to retrieve, in this case we're just randomly retrieving numbers. Future lessons will get into specifics of, as you can see here in this list, we can add to, we can have people insert stuff through like the ask command or input command. We can replace items, we can delete items out when we use them. There's just so many wonderful things that we can do once we start to understand a list. But for now, we just want to create it. So um, that's my challenge for you. Can you create a, a list and, and use it? And in this case, maybe if you're just randomly picking something. So um, choose something beyond a deck of cards and uh, see what it does for you. All right, my friends, until next time, stay awesome.